Well, hello everybody. I think today is day 42 or 43 of being up here on the land. Um, I fucked up. I forgot all my DeWalt batteries for the Sawzall. So that kind of changes the game plan. I was going to maybe continue doing some demo work on the trailer. And then go down to the river and cut some more little trees down and buck up some wood. But that's not a possibility anymore. So I'm going to divert my attention and tackle a project that... I've been meaning to do, it's not a priority, but with all this rain, it's definitely going to be helpful. Basically, when it rains, it leaks through the ceiling in a couple spots here, and there's leftover roofing tar. And my neighbor, the Russian, basically said, add some kerosene, some engine oil, mix it up, slather it on there. So, I'm going to try and recycle and reuse that, instead of having to go buy a bucket of some bullshit. And we'll see how it goes. I've never applied roofing tar. I don't even know what I'm going to use yet but I'll figure it out. Hopefully this stuff will be able to be mixed up and, and workable. So stay tuned for that. You. We'll see what we got in here. Oh baby, it's topped off. I don't know how I'm gonna get this up on the roof by myself. Um, I need to get something to stir it. I mean, it doesn't even seem like I need to add anything. This shit is good to go. Alright, we're gonna put this back on for when we're bringing on the roof. Even though it's probably not gonna stay on. wasn't as hard as I expected. All right, we're up here on the roof. So you can tell Richard already did roof tar a while ago. Who knows how long. But all these spots need to be fixed. This needs to be fixed, this is above the fireplace. We got tons of leaks right here in this shallow spot, so I'm gonna try and patch all this up. Fill all the little cracks. Thank you. 
Well, just finished. Did a pretty good job. Didn't go too crazy. This is one of the main leak zones. So hopefully it fills the cracks there and right here too. Where the fireplace is. It's straight now, it's probably gonna get a little hotter. It's gonna absorb more heat, but Better than having rain and moisture accumulate inside. Hey Chesty. Good boy. Well, chipping away at the old fire pile. There it is right there. Got to cook some ribeye and watch some Band of Brothers and chill for the night. Just Chester and I. I don't know where he is, but he'll be back soon. Well, just came down here to the river, brought the ladder and cleared the last of these branches. I probably want to get that one, but I wasn't high enough. Now there's a nice open view of all this. And I brought the new Adirondack chairs down here. Not a bad view. Pretty happy about it. The water's gone down a lot since Sunday. Two days. It was flowing over this the other day. I'm about to clean off. I'm greasy. I'm doing that roof work. Yep. Here's the the whirlpool. And here's the soap pool. Got the fire burning good. Piles looking a lot smaller. Pretty happy about that. Tomorrow I'll pull all the loose scrap that's around the trailer from when we started ripping it apart this past weekend and I'll uh, start burning some of that. Waiting for Chester to come back. I let him out. He's probably up to no good. Well, I pretty much have finished burning the burn pile. So that's good. Um, got the burn pile burned down. It was, went from volcano size to gone. So now I've got a clear space to pull stuff from the trailer, demolishing and drag stuff over with nothing in the way. And I don't have my saws all, so I can't really do much demo work right now. So I'm going to tackle this. I'm gonna re-insulate this with some of this board right here that was pulled out of the trailer and then I'll probably cover it with some more sheet metal like I did here behind the fireplace. Just get a little head of stuff. I did tar the roof yesterday and it poured rain last night and there was no leak, so that's good. I'm gonna go check that out and see how it looks. Well, finally got a DeWalt oscillating tool. These have gotten a little moldy from the water coming down so I'm just going to give them a quick sanding just to get this off. Oh, this thing works well. Of course I don't have my respirator.
oscillating tool to clean this up and then I got pulled into the wormhole and cleaned the whole floor. Probably going to stain this or polyurethane it just to make it last a little longer. It's a small price to pay to have a little bit more shelter that won't get damaged from water that hopefully will stop dripping because I did do the roof tar but we'll see. Might have to do another layer of it. Spray paint this a little just to cover the mold spots. Figure it can't hurt. It's a snake shed. It's a dead snake skin right there. Well, I rushed out of the trailer yesterday and left the land because uh, my pops came and visited and we went and got some lunch, but it was a good weekend. I totally tackled projects that I had no expectation of doing. Um, I was going to wait till fall to do all the repairs on the crack shack, or sorry, the party trailer, as I call it. Um, but I forgot my saws all, so it seemed like the perfect opportunity to do the roof tarring. And then I ended up sanding the entire floor inside the trailer because it was starting to develop mold from all the moisture that was coming through the ceiling. So I went and bought some uh, varnish or urethane, and I'm going to go back up there and take care of that and keep plugging along on the demolition. Thanks for watching. You. Well, hello there. It seems that you made it to the end of my video. I appreciate you greatly for watching. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Chester says thanks and hi, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.